Sago, Scano, welcome to my SNP. In this video, we are going to show you how to access your degree process using your degree audit. Using your SNP username and password, log in to my SNP. Once you log in, you land on the home page and see the following options. Click on Student Planning. Your degree audit is in the View Your Progress section. Select Go to My Progress. The My Progress page is where you'll find your degree audit. Here is where you can find your cumulative GPA, the degree you are in, the major you are studying, the department you fall under, the year you entered the program, and an anticipated completion date. Please note, if you are taking a reduced course load or part-time course load, this will not reflect your true completion date and it may be longer than what is displayed. For a more accurate completion date, contact your student success officer. You can click on More for a full description of your program. The progress bar indicates how many units you have completed in green. Any courses on your planner in beige and the number of units required to complete your degree. To view all your requirements, click on the Expand All link. Your degree audit will display below and you will see the status of your courses. Completed, displayed in green, not started in red, or planned, shown in beige. Plan means you have added them to your planner to take in the upcoming term. Once the registration period has opened, you can register for the courses on your planner. You will see all the courses listed that will fulfill each requirement. If you completed the course, your grade will be listed. The term you took the course in will be indicated and the number of units will be displayed. Sections of your degree audit may require a grade point average GPA. If that is the case, it will be listed here, along with your current GPA in your courses. In this example, Level 1 Requirements Core Courses has a minimum GPA requirement of a 5. This student has a current GPA of an 8.5 in the courses that fulfill our requirement. At the bottom of your degree audit, there is a section called Other Courses. If you have any courses under Other Courses, they are not counting towards your degree requirement for your current program. For example, if you have taken the University Consortium UP program, these courses will be listed here. The View a New Program option allows you to view degree requirements for another program. For example, if you were in the Honors degree and decide that you only want to complete the three-year degree option, you can come here to review the requirements for that program. Click on the View a New Program button. In this example, the student is in the honors degree and would like to see what requirements he is outstanding if he switched into the bachelor's degree. We are going to select the first option. Now you can see the bachelor program and how many courses this student would need to take if he switched into that program. You will also see the courses you have already completed. Once you are done viewing the new program requirements, click the X to return to your own degree audit. Printing. There is a print option to print your degree audit. To return home, click on the home button. Now you know how to access your degree audit. Nyawa for watching. Contact your student success officer if you have any questions.